The first power app has been unleashed. Who suffered? Who prevailed? We'll find out soon enough. But first, we'll tell you why you don't want to mess with Rockstar on her daughter's birthday. <laughs> Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Big Brother After Show. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz <laughs> Was that Maria? No, it was. 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 That was a remix. <laughs> wait, were we doing something? Were we oh, going to do something? Wait. Oh, the snake. To the oh, right. Oh. To the left. To the right. To the left. Right. 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 To the right. Ooh, I'm so wow. coordinated. Wow. You guys are right. Yeah. We're on point tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good evening. I'm Bryce <laughs> McClay. Welcome to AfterBest TV's Big Brother After Show. We have a lot to talk about. Woo! But so first. But first. But first. But first. Let me introduce my rock star panel. <laughs> I really, I really like that word. Thank today. you for tuning in. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later. Um, <laughs> first of all, let's start with Morgan Millette. I. I am a rock star. I'm just <laughs> not too. Did I do it right? Yes. This is, this in honor is, of rock this star. This is Longhorns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this she is, does this. This is rock. Whatever. You know, it's oh, great no. to be here, guys. Yeah. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> um, ah, things were things were lit this week. Yes. It's like a hip yeah. millennial term. Things were lit. Super lit. Mm -hmm. And lit. next to her, we have Jessica Williams. <laughs> Jessica Williams, what's up? We're Liddy Lit over here, and I feel this weird vibrational shift. Oh no! Oh, oh. I don't know Are what you getting it a means. Hit? Wait. <laughs> to my left is Charles, Charles? Conley. Hey y'all! I knew it. You do it so <laughs> much better than me. Charles Conley here, and this week was super <laughs> duper lit, and <laughs> also. Caitlin's vibrational shifts did not come at the right time because she couldn't no. solve a puzzle that was ah! like three. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're ahead. Slow, You're ahead of the slow game, your cowboy. Roll. Take it back. Slow Take it back. Sorry, Imagine. my head of vibrational <laughs> shift. Do the snake. And we are so excited to be joined by our AfterBuzz intern and future Big Brother house guest, yeah, yeah, Matt yeah. Johns. Hey. What's up, everyone? My name is Makita, and I just got a hit. It's mm, going to be yes. a great show tonight. Oh, it good. is. And happy um, International Intern Day. Yeah. 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 We'll, have take, <laughs> we'll have to take a selfie later. Um, <laughs> we are. I get surprised. Mac is manning our. <laughs> it You're is. welcome. It is. You're welcome. Mac. <laughs> Mac is manning our live our live chat tonight. So if you have a question for us, or you want us to talk us talk about something, or you want to know where our clothes are from, just go to her now and ask. I don't know um, where mine's from. I don't think I know where mine is. I tried uh, to. You asked me either. earlier. Um, but as we may remember, I mean, as you may, you guys know, we know we're, we're you guys remember. might remember that we said we were going to have a special guest right. on the show. All right, all right, and all we right. wanted to give you an update. Let's give we a disclaimer. Yes. Um, so Morgan. I had contacted Swaggy C from the season. He was supposed to come on tonight, but I don't know if everyone knows this, but once you get out of the house, you are under contract with CBS for a year, as I was, as all the house guests were, and you have to get clearance from them. So CBS is wanting Swaggy to hold off and all press for now. So we're going to follow up, try and get him on later in the season, but I've been talking to him. Um, but next week, we're back on our guest train. Um, I haven't told anyone this. Okay, well, don't say oh, it yet. God. Okay, I'll, I'll save, wait until the end. Tune in. You have to watch the whole show. Yes. There you go. <laughs> And once yeah. again, you guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're on the West Coast, we're covering tonight's episode, so just wait till you come back. Make like a tree and leave. Yeah. Speaking of trees, actually, oh. we begin Sunday night's episode meeting the house guests where we left them off, holding on to a tree. Oh, a tree. Yeah. Okay, I was like, oh, what's my. the tree connection? Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Um, <clears throat> so Sam wins HRH for the week, and if and if you were Sam, uh, would you want to control? Would you want to have control of your power? Like, would you want to? Would you want to have this control or not? And try. Let's try not to get ahead of ourselves, because um, it's gonna be sorry. hard. I think I would. I mean, better to have control than to not. I mean, the power kind of went to waste because right. she knew what was gonna happen. Her, one of her nominees would go home. But I'd rather, you know, at least have some control than just blindly, you know, like throw the H O H and yeah. it mm -hmm. be possibly one of her allies that might not win the comp to come yeah. back. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. But we saw as as the week progressed that Sam got a bitch drunk with power. I don't know. We have a we have a video. Oh, Lord of, have yes. mercy. Wasted, yes. wasted with power. Jesus, wasted take the with wheel. Power. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so yeah. what do you guys think of what Jessica, what do you think? What do you think of this behavior? And this was not seen on the broadcast show, correct? Right. Yeah, that was okay. on right. Feed. Um, I call her the incredible Hulk H O H. Like she literally transformed and it was the oddest thing. Like I was like, What happened to the sweet little Sam and the robot crying? Oh I wanna stay gosh. here. Her power shift and then she was just so like um bitter. It, it was as if she loaded the two girls. Like it wasn't like she took it negative, she took it personal, and she really attacked them during her speech, mm -hmm. her HOH yeah. uh, speech. And I just found it very unflattering. Yeah. Well, let's, All the way around. Let's go to that, because they, so, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> let's see, so Sam nominated Caitlin and Haley for eviction, which became a major point of contention for yes. a lot of people, mm -hmm. for viewers yep. and for, for the house guests alike. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and uh, she said that she says the nominees take more than the house than they give, and she doesn't appreciate them hanging on all of the young men in the mm, house. The young men. This young actually young prompted men. Rachel Riley, uh, the winner of BB13, who was mm -hmm. actually the veto compost, yeah. to say, uh, not cool for Sam to call the girls out. The, that was the opposite of female empowerment. My opinion, these girls are having fun in their 20s, and they're living in a house locked away. Let them flirt, live life, and let live. I'm all for female empowerment, but this isn't a professional environment. It's a game show. What do you guys, what do you think of that? I mean, I think it was wrong for Sam to call them out in that way because clearly, like, that's going to make enemies. And going to, like, what you said before, should she have used her power, I think that she should have actually thrown the HOH to Tyler when she saw that it was just her and him, just thought quickly and been like, oops, like, I accidentally fell and now Tyler's HOH. Um, then she could have kind of had control of the house without getting blood on her hands. But no, I think it was wrong for her to call out the girls um, in that way. She should have just like, if she if she was to give a reason why she nominated them, maybe she would have done it in private instead of in front of everybody in the house. Because I mean, Twitter sphere, all of Twitter sphere was for it was like Team Haley and Team um, Team Caitlyn. So I mean, yeah. clearly she she stepped in yeah. the wrong way. I mean, way. here's my issue with it. Big Brother's a game, and once you bring in personal aspects yeah. of people's Just lives, that's when it crosses a line. Too personal. You could, she could have said anything, like, whatever, but it made it gameplay. And mm -hmm. it could have been so simple as to, hey, Caitlin, like, you have a lot of ties. Haley, like, I see you as a threat. And be done with it. Mm -hmm. But instead, she seemed almost jealous Very, and a little yeah. bitter. Very, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was my issue. And I do think what she said was more true for Caitlyn. I think Caitlyn does kind of mess. Play the house. Plays... I don't know. She's just a mess. <laughs> Haley, I think, is a flirt, but that's also, people have to remember, this is Big Brother. Right. It's a social game, and that's what a lot of people forget. Yeah. It's a, You have to be well-liked. So I think Haley's doing a good job being well-liked. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, well, to steal a, a word from Rachel Riley, it, she she used flirtagize for strat, like to, oh. and yeah. so I want to know, Matt, what do you think, do you think that girls in the house have to do that in order to, to stay afloat? Or do you think that that's, do you think that's different for? Do you think it's different for men and women? Do you think that girls have to flirt? I don't think that girls have to flirt, but I do think that like when you are locked away like that, and like if someone's cute, I mean at school, I'm in college right now. If someone's cute, you're flirting. Like it's don't rub it's it harmless. in. By the way. <laughs> yeah. It's harmless. I don't think that they have to flirt. I think a lot of the times, girls do flirt with guys because. Not to, you know, guys just lose it pretty quickly. So mm -hmm. when the girl's Easy batting their eyes, they're like, oh. But yeah. I also think that the way Sam said it, it just. Oh, I, it was well, offensive. Well, but, but before we go into anything else, speaking of flirty and feeling flirty. <laughs> oh. No. 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 We no. know what's coming. Oh, what a segue. Flirty. That was the best one so far. Speaking that was better of flirty, than... I think we all feel a little extra flirty when we are wearing good quality uh, clothes from head to toe, inside and out. So, one of those pieces of clothes, <laughs> not inside, not, one, of those pieces right. of clothes, one of those pieces of clothes is underwear. So, I want to take a minute to talk about underwear because that's mm. my second favorite thing to talk about. Yeah. Specifically, the first? <laughs> Never mind. Um, apples. That will be revealed oh. later in the <laughs> yeah. season. Apples. Yeah, apples. So, um, I want to talk about me undies. So, uh, underwear, everybody needs it. New is better than old, and me undies are the best of the best. They're the cream of the, par the crop. They stay put. Um, there's no moving around. They come right to your door, and mm. the best part is you can get a matching pair for your partner. Mm. And so this offer is a no-risk offer, and if you're not happy, they'll refund the cost, and you get to keep the underwear, because nobody wants a return pair of underwear. Okay, now. Win -win. <laughs> and because you're listening to me, you will get 15% off your first Ooh. pair, 
and free shipping. Um, just go to meatundies.com slash buzz for 15% off your first pair and free shipping. And uh, here's an extra gift also. If you order the pair and get that 15% off, you take a screenshot proving your uh, purchase or send a screenshot of your receipt uh -huh. to me. I'll send you a pair for free. Now, they're not going to be mine. They're going to be new. But you're going to get an <laughs> additional God. pair. <laughs> yeah, I, thank God. I have cute underwear. I wear me undies, okay? Um, so the first 25 people who send proof of purchase, send a screenshot of your purchase or the receipt, and I'll send you another pair for free. And I want to uh, also say again that they're not going to be mine. You'll um, be doing good. the packaging, Very though. Good. I'll do the packaging, yeah. He'll sign it for you. Yeah, yeah. I work in the warehouse, and it's a, a, it's a lovely warehouse. <laughs> I'll send a selfie. Yeah, it's a lovely warehouse. It smells very fresh in that warehouse. Just send just send your proof to gift at podcastone.com and put buzz in the subject line, and you will soon have another pair in your collection, girl. Go, let's do this. Yes. Gift at podcastone.com. That was good. Yes. That was me undies. Me undies. Me undies. You undies. Let's we all feel undies. a little Love bit extra undies. flirty with these me undies. I agree. Yes. Okay. Undies. All right, Jessica, what were you going to say? <laughs> yeah, so I took issue. God. <laughs> to segue back to flirtiness on the show and Sam and her craziness yeah, how are you and flirty? her um, extreme hypocrisy, I took major issue with her talking about them not displaying proper women empowerment. Because mm. I'm like, okay, it's big brother is not woman empowerment like there are different techniques and strategy that mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. utilize to win the game so like you're a beast comp you're a social gamer you're a flirt you're a snake you're clueless like there's all these roles that people have so for her to isolate that and then turn around and do the same thing mm. yes. your tweet was everything what was your tweet pot uh, kettle sam, meat sam yeah. 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 yeah boom well here's also my issue is I think a lot of her speech that she said they didn't air, they edited it a lot because mm. she went on to then critique their clothing and say, mm -hmm. well, you're scantily clad and you wear all these like inappropriate things that are oh too small. God. And I look at Haley who wears an extra large yes. sweatshirt 99% mm -hmm. of the time. And yeah. to me, that was just lines being mm -hmm. crossed. Yeah. Like you can't, that's not gameplay. That's yeah. a, a personal attack. And to me that is not Big Brother. Well, that's why that's I think so that jealous. Sam is just kind of a messy HOH. Like, Sam mm -hmm. is not the type of person... I think Sam could have won this whole thing had she just stayed out of that HOH position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I think that some people get, like, this strange thing about them when they have power, and I think Sam is one of those people. And I don't think it's necessarily something that she can control. I but think it I just happens. I appreciated it. Like, at first, I appreciated her HOH because she was straightforward. She's like, hey, my mind is made up. Don't yeah. come talk to me. No one-on-one. Stay out of my room. It's mine. So I was like, okay, this is different. But then yeah. that shift of being judgmental took right. it too far. Well, I'm glad you guys brought that up because I, I thought the same thing. And I it actually, Andy Heron, who's a friend of ours. We, yeah. I love Andy. And he's been on our show. But he... Uh, he tweeted, he said, if you aren't easily manipulated or persuaded, you shouldn't announce it to the house. It's a prime reason for everyone to get rid of you. If you were in the house, I'd want, if I were in the house, I'd want Sam gone too. Yeah, and I have true. to agree with him because it, like, she doesn't have, she's not gonna have that leverage mm -hmm. moving into, like someone could yes. go, if I were HOH after that, if I were Haley, I would oh. go and I want HOH, I'd be like, well, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna talk to you because you didn't talk to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. tick for and tack. And it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard, you have to be able to have a balance. Like even if you have your mind made up, just entertain it. Yeah, right. you, know, you don't just have to do it, but you idea. can let them speak in it, anything. Mm -hmm. She could get information from other people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And said she got nothing and, and just made enemies. And yeah. Sam seems like a, she she obviously is smart and level-headed she's she do, things don't change in her mind mm -hmm. you know she doesn't seem like that person so even if someone like Tyler was like rapping mm -hmm. in her ear the whole time she's probably not gonna be swayed by that right because he tried to do that earlier okay mm -hmm. anyway, and she should have yeah. tried to partner with him like even shunning him out and saying yeah. I'm not gonna tell you either like you have made no friends in this process yeah no Bad I mean, game. we've got some thoughts oh, yes. on yes. In the live feed Ooh, come on, thoughts. I okay. also forgot to say other than the whole idea of Sam's HOH speech being wrong, the fact that she said the guys can't help themselves, I was like, oh, My girl, in a 1950. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're saying that um, Abby Shackley is saying women empowerment always. And Brooke wants us to mention Sam flirting with Fessy right after she told the girls. Yeah. Right. Right. She's yeah. a hypocrite. Yeah. Well, that was Cringeworthy. And it was weird because Sam, like, she's so female empowerment and everything, but then she says she's so old fashioned. But I think she's old, she has she has an old fashioned view of female empowerment. Yes, I where, agree. Where, like, women have a very narrow way that they can reach success, and, like, they have to do it in such a specific way. Yeah. And, like, I think that she had the right intention at the beginning of her HOH. Mm -hmm. She was, like, set in her ways. She was going to be stark, and, and she wasn't going to change her mind. But then, like, 
all of the voices started coming at her from different angles, and I think she got a little intimidated by this power decision. Trip. She mm. and then she got it was combined with a power trip. So, I mean, at the beginning she said she wasn't going to be swayed, but we all saw what happened a little later on with the with the veto yes, thing. Yes. Yes. Um, before we before, before we move on to that, I want to but first no um, <laughs> I want I do want to ask you guys about so Rockstar obviously went on a complete tirade against Brett, <laughs> which was the moment of the season. Yeah, the win, bless the, you, Rockstar. For she that. went off Josh Ooh. BB19 yes. Yes. Um, on him, and uh, she said that he had a micro penis. I loved that. Um, <laughs> You know, this is what oh. I want to ask you guys. Like, you know, speaking from experience, no, I, 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 I just, I, wow. I just want to know. I just want to know. Like, I feel like that's such a double standard. And I saw something on Twitter that's like people were saying how, you know, like if it were, if, if, if the roles are reversed, yeah. you know, things like oh. seeing of a seeing of a straight white male. Let me get on my reversed. soapbox. Um, but I, I mean, just like I, I felt like that was a little bit over the line. Like I yeah. thought it was I over think the it line. You know, again, the line a bit. I think it kind of goes back to what we were saying before, where it's like if you make it personal, it becomes it becomes not gameplay. Yeah. I think Rockstar is getting some heat though, because I think no, I think from, she is too. From what I've seen yeah. on Twitter, a lot of people are getting tired of her with the whole. She brings up social class a lot. Yeah, and so she's weird. like. Yeah. She also said, "Why do guys like that always win? Guys like that always win." That <laughs> was like, just like such a. You don't know, you don't know people's yeah. lives yeah. outside yeah. the house. You have no idea. You have no idea what's going and on. And she's going around saying like, "Well, they have five hundred thousand dollars in the bank," and it's like, "Girl, everyone's here to play the game." <laughs> yeah, like, clearly. Yeah. She, I just think that you would think if you were her, knowing her and like the way she looks and the way she acts and the mm -hmm. way that she raises her family, you would think that she would be a little bit more. Love, like everybody support, loves. Or not peaceful, supportive, but understanding you know? of yeah. someone else's background. <laughs> yeah, and the gameplay altogether was just, it was just a bad choice for her to overreact. I mean, her own alliance didn't even believe it because my fa my favorite meme out there is Haley and Bailey's face where they're like, <laughs> yeah. they're like, really, Brett? She really said right. that. So she kind of took it too far. She got into her head. She looked crazier yeah. during that argument than yeah. Brett did. Yeah, I know. And then for that her to amazing. try to do the pots thing, it, just, it was just like, it, it wasn't a good plan, darling. It also, just wasn't. Pots are so overdone. I know yeah. they are. <laughs> the pots. It was a little cringeworthy, but I did scream whenever she was like yelling at Brett. Like some of the stuff that she was. It was saying a cake was, tray. It wasn't Brett, a pot, Brett, by Brett, the way. Brett, Brett, my best friend, Brett. <laughs> yeah, I was oh screaming. Well, it was pretty. Yeah. It was pretty good. I will say that the speech, the the what she said was pretty was funny. funny. She may take it too far sometimes, but. I'm you gotta it. admit, it just cracks you up. Yeah, that was, that was My dad's funny. a lawyer, deal that she goes with about Brett, it's kind of hilarious. But it was yeah. her daughter's birthday. Yeah. 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 But, oh, but guys, it was <laughs> it was not actually her daughter's birthday. Her daughter's <laughs> birthday was the day, the next day. She got it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> She got lost yeah. in those BB hours. We were watching oh the show, God. and Morgan's like, did you hear that it was actually not Rockstar? <laughs> <laughs> guys. And I was like, what? <laughs> but one piece of game that actually worked out for her is when she did approach Brett and was like, hey, yes. we're not partners but game recognizes game and he actually took heat to it though he was he like did. I don't listen to Rockstar he changed his vote mm -hmm. based off of that conversation at least how mm -hmm. that's how editing played it out when that's funny that they because I'm thinking about how they edited it and how we saw it because yeah. then I was catching up on like what played out in the live feeds mm -hmm. and that him talking to or her coming to talk to him was like I'm cutting the pots in the pans let's talk mm -hmm. he actually then was like I hate her like yeah. I want her gone <laughs> so like, it really seemed like everything that Caitlyn and Rockstar said <laughs> This week just damaged dug, them. It just damaged them. They just it made people want to evict them more. So like, no, just, just shut up. Just shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them. Shut or, up. Or stand by yeah. your game because it seems like a person like Brett would have more respect for somebody just staying consistent and like mm -hmm. if you hate me, just hate me and go after me. Yeah. Don't come, don't come with your sob story yeah. when yeah. you're up on the block. Like don't think that I'm gonna be your friend now that you're in a vulnerable spot. I think that he would have maybe honestly switched to vote and respected her if right. she would have said, you know what, Brett, I don't care if you vote me out because right. I'm gunning like, I still for hate you. Because yeah. like I'm gunning for you and I expect you to gun for me because yeah. I'm a strong competitor. I would have been like, okay, well, you're staying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I think we do have to mention this, even though I don't like. We're, I don't want to harp on this. Is this the undies again? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> actually, just so you know, I Can have a. Uh, it it's be? actually called We Undies. Um, <laughs> No, but I like so Bailey and JC had a big, a big, big kerfuffle in the fr in the in Sunday night episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's been yeah I'm, like, I'm I'm 87 years old actually. Okay. I love that. Um, I'm Benjamin What's Buttoning. That? Um, <laughs> yeah, but I so where where they you know I I have my notes here at some point, but basically they both made each other you know kind of feel They've, inadequate. Yes, I suppose. Each other. yes, and they offended each other completely, mm -hmm. and. Um, I just think that 
all I want to say about it is that I'm so sick and tired of like these people not going into this house, not taking this seriously because they are on camera 24 hours mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. And I get the thing there's like slip ups or whatever, but like you know what's offensive and you know what's not. Right. And for J for me, JC was clearly like I, f I was completely on Bailey's side. I felt like he easily could have made that point. Com without like without having yeah. to say it, I don't even mm -hmm. like to say the n word. I don't right. even like to say n word. Yeah. Right. And I don't think that they should say there should be m word. But I just think that people need to be respectful, and it's just ridiculous. Well, but they spent a lot of time talking about that, so I feel well, like my thing is, is we all know that they pulled Angela and Rachel into the dr. They've already had a yes. talk. So would that not be a wake up call for yeah. everyone? Like right. we're watching right. you, and it's becoming a problem. I think this is a hot topic. Like right. I think JC was offended. I think that he that she used the word. He was offended, so he used the word back. Right. I I think that that's what happened. But I, yeah. I don't think I'm so. kind of confused because the way when I was watching the feeds, it was like Bailey posed it as a question. And as someone who like actually has done a lot of research on little people, I'm very passionate about people not using the M word. But I don't think the M word is as like recognized as a bad word. I think so right. many people don't mm -hmm. realize that it is offensive. But I think. JC was like not hearing that Bailey was legitimately asking a question and right. he was like, well, how dare you say that I'm going to say this? And then he tries to back it up by telling her to hush it up. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. and JC's probably heard that M word so many times right. in his life mm -hmm. that he's just like so jaded on it and very passionate about what that means because people probably called him that a lot. And I'm sure right. he's been called everything in the book too. And mm -hmm. I, so I'm, I'm, I'm totally on his, like, I, I get it, you know, yeah. but. And it's not a forbidden say? word. Like we utilize that word in other formats, yeah. you know, like miniature a Twix or, you know, like there's miniature sized yeah. candy. I mean, it's not a forbidden word. But the N word, there's no rationalization to use it yeah. in mm -hmm. any format to anyone posing as an example. I think that Jay Z. Jay -Z. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking uh, about uh, that word and uh, thinking uh, about his uh, lyrics. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm in New York. Hey. 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 Um, Jay Z, I think that he kind of gave himself a pass because he is a minority himself and he's still like okay I am also gay I'm also Hispanic da, 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 so it's okay for me to use it because I'm not using it towards you but if you're not within the race just don't say it point yeah. blank period and I also found it interesting that they highlighted this conversation because I thought it was a positive conversation and I thought it was super informative so I love how they showed um, a lot of the show about it but they didn't ever bring up on the real um, uh, uh, show sure, about show. Rachel and Angela, mm -hmm. like you said, or mm -hmm. even JC and his scooping the uh, oh, yeah, that genitals was with the ice scooper. <laughs> so it's fascinating what they pick and choose to show. Maybe yeah. because it had been like building for so long, they were like, okay, this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. Like we have to show this. Yeah, or maybe because it's just it was like constructive. There's so well, and also, like, there's been so many news articles, maybe with, yeah. like, the first, and they're like, all right, like, they won't do it again. And now it's like, they need yeah. to address yeah. it at some point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, moving on. Yes. Um, so, uh, I now let's talk about the train wreck of the week. Me undies. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's we undies, actually. Yeah. That's the other one. Um, Caitlin. Oh, so, I want to first, first discuss the whole um, making her pretending to try to uh, get Tyler to swear on his actually deceased oh father's grave. Mm -hmm. So Morgan, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. I might I get angry thinking about it because not only does she want him to swear on his dead father's grave. Today I don't know, I'm she also brought up it I guess whenever she said this his dad's birthday was the next day. So she is But was his dad's birthday today? Yes. It was okay. today. So she was saying this yesterday and she's oh, like Oh, got it. Okay. I'm speaking to your dead father. He is talking to me and he is saying all these things to me and he is describing you to a T and basically using his dead father as <laughs> a boy. describing you. As a boy to as like stay in the him. house and she's like, Tyler, like your dad is telling me like you need to keep me and like to me that is absolutely that drew, that disgusting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't want, I'm just like, Stop with like the whole you see people. I don't mm. whatever if you do don't but like, like your which she's like bird, never like, like really claimed to be a medium. No, yeah. so, so now she just it just came out of nowhere. Medium. Yeah, and then it was in the play app. Psychic. She got that in the play app store. Like, that's such a personal I choose like a psychic medium. <laughs> she's well, Sabrina then, the teenage witch. <laughs> well, then also, what did she expect Tyler to do? Like. Oh really? Like you actually? He did? Like did did she really think that that was gonna work? 
on Tyler. Also, props to him because I would have literally. I would have lost it. I would have lost my mind and been like, "All right, either like you gotta go or I gotta go." Okay, yeah. but the first time that she said it, did she know that his father had died? Yes, I think he. Yeah. I believe he had talked about it. Okay. She said, they had talked about it in the yeah. past. Yeah. Is anyone in the chat? Yes. Okay. Um, Hi. Oh, God. In the Hello. chat, they agreed with you saying about how Rachel and Angela got called into the DR, and mm -hmm. Abby is back again, and she's really mad about Ty um, Caitlin speaking about Tyler's dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think and we're all mad about that. Sam, yeah. Yeah. that's just gross. Yeah, it's they really asked nice. the question. Netakin said, "What did y'all think of the first two noms?" Sam made made her targets very personal this week. Yeah, yes. I think the noms make sense. I don't think she should have said what she said. None I think she way. clearly could have been like put up two people, got no blood on her hands, and be like, "Guys, y'all are comp beasts. Whatever. Yeah. One person's gonna after. get a comeback." Yeah. She said it afterwards. She goes. I had to put up two people. That's it. We're not going to go ten rounds with this. Yeah. I had to put up two people. That's all you could have said. Yeah. And all then she would have been fine, and no one would have targeted her. Yeah, I it's... love how she's always like, I have my mind made, and then she's like, guys, I had a nominee. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what I was going to do. I say she's what like, I, I mean. I know who my replacement nominee will be. Guys, yeah. I just found out he's using the veto. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, that's what I think. Crazy. Like M Morgan has said before, like going to this house, you have a strategy, and then everything is going out the window. So I think I think that Sam <laughs> said like. Whenever I win HOH, I'm going to play it like this. I'm going to tell everybody I've made my mind made up. I'm not going to do one-on-ones. I'm going to say I'm going to stick to my guns. And then, like we've been told over and over again, like n everything goes out the window. I think everything went out the window. Yeah. And she just got all tangled up in her words. And then, and then, mm -hmm. okay, so then she nominates, so to catch everyone up, she nominates uh, Caitlin and Haley, obviously we've <laughs> talked about. Then mm -hmm. she almost, then... Fessy in a insane twist oh, of that yeah. twist Sweet of events. Sweet baby Jesus! Like Dumbest who man does I've that? Ever seen. Who would do that? Who would he you put would put gun for the veto in that? Prince like first Charming. off, talking to both of them, like choose me, pick me. Now flirting up with Sam, and I was like, <laughs> I want so badly for that to be some overall scheme, some gameplay. Like I'm gonna manipulate these three girls, and yeah, yeah. but he just was all over the place, he and quite frankly. Just for a second, I'm gonna take Caitlyn's defense first and last time <laughs> for like half a Just second. Just like for one second. Because their conversation is literally the frustration women have with men. She's like, listen, I don't want for you to play in the veto because you're gonna have to choose between. He's like, no, no, I'm gonna choose you. She's like, no, you're not. You're gonna be conflicted. He's like, no, 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 trust me, trust me, pressuring her to trust. So as women, we go, okay, we're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and we're gonna trust you. Like Turn guys. around the next day, he's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do now that I've won. <laughs> We've had this conversation. So I, I was frustrated that he dismissed her. We've right? been that new. Moment. Men are terrible. Yeah, men are horrible. <laughs> We've been new, okay? <laughs> right. And Fessy was so messy with Women this. Kn well, my thing is, I'm fine with him telling both females, hey, yes, I got you. Like, that to me would be gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to stay on both of their good sides. Throw the veto, yeah. Fessy. Yes. It yeah. is Throw an easy it. thing. Throw it. It's yeah. so easy. And, and like, can't be as wise. dumb as you are tall. Well, and then, uh, okay, whenever he first was talking to the girl, saying that I was going to save you, and then I'll save you, Caitlin, and then I'll save you, Haley, yeah. I thought that's actually what he was doing. I was like, okay. But then I was, like, getting nervous because he wasn't as convicted as I thought he was going to be. Mm -hmm. He was looking into Caitlin's eyes saying, like, yeah, I'll save you, I promise. <laughs> I was like, wait, Fessy, are you actually doing what I think you're doing? The vibrational or, shift or that's going to happen. Or are you really yeah. not going to save her? <laughs> right. Because... I honestly thought he was playing a good game by like establishing trust with both of these girls. Nope. If one of them goes home, at least the other one would have would still be completely on my side. Um, but I guess he got he it worked out kind of. His gameplay yeah, went honestly. as far as that one week. He was like, I just yeah. want to stay off the block, but you were up there cuddling with Sam, so you were good. Yeah. yeah. But the, but I will say that at least <laughs> at least Haley picked him and he put pulled her yes. off the block. That yeah. would have been really bad yes. if there was another. So if you picked Kayla would have picked him and he would have picked Haley. Haley would have been good. Horrible. Yeah, that would have been yeah. Horrible. Savage. I mean, that was like I just I still can't believe any of that. Um, before we get to the eviction, I want to yeah. as I, you pulled some tweets from oh, people. Oh yes, um, yes, yes. Who had some? Okay, so I pulled some tweets of just funny stuff. I mean, it was like popping on social media last night. Literally, with everything that was happening is on fire. And yeah. you guys were yeah. cracking me up. So as I was searching, I saved some of them. If y'all don't follow on Twitter at the same time y'all are watching the episodes. It's like you're missing out. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like so a party. Hard. It's like yeah. a party online. It's like it Twitter is. is the butter to the Big Brother popcorn. Oh, yeah. it's up here. I'm all yeah. searching. Okay, so Luna C73 said, Fessy thinks people are probably watching the feed to find some clues to what's actually <laughs> happening on this episode. It's so pretty. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yes. Hilarious. Next. 
Josh, we talked about it earlier, but he's like, this episode made me go from loving Sam to wishing she was a robot <laughs> that was again. So funny. Amen. That was so, so funny. That is it's so, so true. true. It's like, where did she come from? I'm the robot. <laughs> All right, oh, this next this one. one. Time for a field trip with substitute teacher Fessy. <laughs> like, can we all talk about how he does look like yeah. a teacher? <laughs> and he is a substitute laughing. teacher, though, isn't is he? he? He's a sub. That's his, well, that's his job. That's, that's his job. job. That's yeah. his actual Difference. job. And then I was looking. I was like, yeah. And um, Rockstar looks like the cool mom. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Hey guys, come on. She's like, who wants some cool? Who wants yeah. some crazy brownies? Some goldfish. Call, cauliflower pizza. <laughs> <laughs> cauliflower and the pizza. last tweet. Um, so this was actually like happening at the same time. So I didn't want to say anything because we were gonna go on national TV because Caitlyn has a boyfriend, and then Rachel's like, yeah. I'm pretty sure at this point she doesn't have a boyfriend anymore. <laughs> so that was like, people were, on Twitter were like, did he get a hit? Like, how does he know? You know, so he it was totally just crazy. Knows. The people in the house also are convinced that she doesn't actually have a boyfriend. Like, everyone well, is talking that would like, be insane, there's no way. It? Right, uh, with those actions. At this point. So I, I'm just. I'm she sure, brings I'm it sure, up I'm at sure, the I'm random sure. moments. Like, it's like, I'm all over you and my boyfriend. I I miss him. Like, <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, yeah, it's really it's bad. So... Okay, she so Charles, Charles, catch us up on what happened tonight. So what, who... What, with the what all with, yes, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. Tell us all. Mm. Tell us everything. So, as we all know, Fessy won the veto. Mm -hmm. He pulls Haley off of the block. And in the replacement nominee, this, this all happened like previous for the eviction, but um, in the replacement nominee, Sam nominates. At first, she's thinking that she's going to go with JC. <laughs> and honestly, like, that was horrible. Girl, I could see the gears turning in Sam's head. Like, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just put JC up. And then JC just said, um, and Sam was like, okay, won't. Rockstar. Like, <laughs> immediately. Right. So she puts nice. Rockstar up. Um, there's a lot of talk, a lot of people, like, on in, um, in uh, level five. The alliance, like, who are we going to vote out? We kind of back and forth with Brett. JC is dead set on getting Caitlyn out. Um, but in the end, it turns out that every single person, except for JC, votes to evict yours, um, your one and only Caitlyn. Oh, Claire, clairvoyant Caitlin. Which is so funny because yeah. the vote flipped back and forth in that house a billion times. I know. This was the most flip floppy week we ever. Were, we were sitting there watching the episode like, I am so confused. What is going to happen? How are the votes going to fall? It was really confusing. That's why Big yeah. Brother's so good this yeah. season. Yeah, this season it's, is that's epic. That's why it's so good. It's yeah. a good one. We have two one. questions. Yes. So hit us. I really like from Thomas McGee, he says he really likes Scotty and Bailey. Does anyone think they have a chance at winning? No. <laughs> okay. Perhaps. This came up also in the in while we were watching. I love Scotty. I think he's awesome. I want him to go all the way. I think he's a great game player. Yeah. Um other people on the panel feel differently, but Okay, I don't I'm over there. What, what I don't do you know. like about him. <laughs> to me, Scotty just tries a little too hard. I think, you think something about him just irks me. I don't think he's a bad game player, but I just don't Yeah. like yeah. vibrate towards him. Yeah. I do think he's going to go far. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to win the mm -hmm. game because mm -hmm. I think sometimes he gets caught up in like playing a little too hard. I think yeah. that'll kind of bite him. But, but like, that I think the, like the throw the swaggy vote was weird. I think like, Scotty why? has best jury management honestly he's, of this mm. of this season he's so really far. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so he's really smart and honestly, I love like the little alliance that I hope that forms with um Bailey, Haley, Fessy and Scotty, though Fessy just, I don't really understand like his strength or his purpose or like the benefit of having him, but I like Bailey, I mean Haley and Fessy together, like they're yeah. so cute. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Mac, what do you think? I You love Bailey, don't I you? I do love Bailey. I think that she, like, I don't know. I just kind of, I feel like we'd be friends. So, <laughs> Bailey, you know, if you ever watch this girl, hit me up. Um, I think that's why I want for her, to, her to go far. Like, I just, like, vibrate. I vibrate towards her personality. Oh, those are vibrating. Um, yeah. I think, I actually like Scotty. Like I was saying while we were watching, I think it's crazy that the fact that he put up the bros and now no one's even thinking about him being a target. Yeah. Like, he put up two big targets on the block, well, and now he's just coasting. I have just, thanks to Caitlyn and Sam, though. True. Yeah. That is but true. I, I will say that I've never seen someone who is in a showmance like Bailey 
like come completely full circle and make it act like she as no, she's as yeah. never, she recovered. Yeah. Never, that's I so mean, true. That yeah. is insane. Like every single girl has been there. Like I can't even even guys. Like it's not just mm-hmm. girls. It's everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so yeah, let's move on. True. It's now time for uh, Chen Cheddar. Ooh. This is a segment <laughs> where we discuss things host Julie Chen has said in the press. Did you like that music? <laughs> yeah, Great. I think we need, I think we should do that. I think we should get that. So mm. here, keep doing. It. I'll start over. It's now time for Chen Chatter, the segment where we discuss things that host Julie Chen has said in the press about her gameplay or her Ooh. gameplay gameplay and production. That's a lot of breath. <clears throat> Entertainment Weekly asked Julie, "Which crap app would you choose if you were in that position?" Ooh, no. She answered, "I would have chosen the Yell crap app. Who cares? For 24 hours, get an actor to yell at you. It's funny, easy. So I want to pose the opposite question to you guys. Don't okay. explain. Just te- just say it. What it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so out of the bonus life, the cloud." And identity theft, what power app would you have chosen? Identity theft. Did we know what that one is? That's yeah, Bailey's, right? Bailey's. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So you're yes. steal the vote, you're gonna steal the HOH's nominations. 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 And and Tyler's is the cloud. So he's Stop safe. Himself he's from safe being nominated. Oh, I, I like a, his. That's uh, but the cloud. But he could still be nominated for veto. He could be. So I think oh, it could just really backfire. Yeah. Either um, one. Yeah, so there's always there's That's like a hard. downside to each one, right. just yeah. like we saw tonight with the Well, Kayla. with Bailey's, it keeps her safe and she can take over. Yeah. Okay. Well, that. Yeah, one, and I would yeah. pick that. And can you imagine how much like havoc it would wreak on that person's HOH? Not you only could would totally it help screw you, somebody over. but you would completely alliance. screw over someone else. And it saves your own people. Yeah. Like they're on. But yeah. then, but wouldn't the cloud like Tyler's all about not having any blood on his hands? Like, wouldn't the cloud release you from any like blood on your hands? Whereas Bailey's power wouldn't. I think they're all anonymous. No, it's anonymous. Yeah. So when oh, Bailey uses mm-hmm. that. The HOH cannot say that <gasps> they ha- flip their noms but because they of can, a power. I thought that they could say. I thought they could say that they have a power, but they can't say who did it. Like, no, I think it is. It is completely it's anonymous. Given to them. From, oh, okay. My, okay. from my understanding. Okay. Oh, the but that would be that would that would be weird. I mean, what if what if she chose two of your alliance members? It's like. Sorry, like they can't say that it was an app that made it. I don't know. I think that specific. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that would be weird. That's that's Suspect. very interesting. Like It'll be so did everyone sus. answer? Did you answer? <laughs> Mac, what would you oh, do? Oh, mm, I think that I would choose the cloud. Like okay. I know, because identity theft. Like, what if before the time runs out, my people keep lo- or my people are winning, so I don't really need to control the noms. But if the cloud, like I'm personally saving myself, mm-hmm. and then sure. if mm-hmm. I got nominated for, let's say I don't get nominated for eight, uh, the initial, but. I get nominated for veto, then mm-hmm. I'm like, sorry, I'm not going to be on the block. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's what, like, the cloud was very appealing to me because it was just like, oh, it's out of my control. Like, sorry, I have to save myself. Yeah. Whereas, I, I, with the other powers, you have to, like, think about it, make a right, decision, and right. a game move. I would choose, um, I would probably never get one because I would be on it. I would get a crap app. Yeah. Uh, I would get the redraw. No, I, I would choose Hamlet of the crap app. No, apps. I feel like yeah, your, totally your yeah, mysterious but... beard would be trending every week. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't oh, no. It's crazy. Oh, my God. You guys magic. are too, you just are just so nice to me and my beard. <laughs> All right, that's it for us, guys. Follow along with us throughout the week uh, on Twitter where we are monitoring your favorite and least favorite house guests. We'll be doing that next week. Um, yes. Using hashtag BuzzBB20. Um, we will see you back here next Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific oh, Standard the guest. Time. Are you going to say? The special oh, guest. Oh, okay. We have a special um, guest. Update. I just not confirmed 100% yet, but I'm in the talk, so we might get two sisters. They might have been on a, a race. Um, a certain race. A certain race, and they might be in studio, so stay uh, tuned for that. Mm, also, nice I know tease. we ran out of time a little bit tonight, but um, if you want to talk to us about what happened on tonight's episode with um, who went home, Caitlin, and how she can't solve a puzzle made for toddler, <laughs> oh my God. Tweet, the us, tweet us. Puzzle join the conversation. Ever. We have a lot to say about yes. that. Yes. Yeah, a Please. lot. So I almost said it at the beginning of the episode. Right? <laughs> <laughs> From outside the Big Brother House and inside After Buzz Studios, I am Bryce McClay. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Bryce Advice if you want some really stupid advice. Yeah, it's actually great advice. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm Morgan. I am Morgan Willette. You can follow me on Twitter, talking all things BB at Morgan underscore Willette. If you want to follow a bunch of selfies of myself, it's at Morgan Lee Willette on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm Jessica Williams. You can follow me on Twitter at Miss Jessica WW and make sure you vote for your favorite and least favorite house guest. And on Instagram, I am Miss Jessica Williams. 
And I'm Charles Conley. You can follow me on Twitter and the Instagrams at Charles and Conley. It's just my name. It's so easy to follow me, girl. I'm desperate. <laughs> and back. We are so yes! happy. We're so happy that you came Thanks on our show. Joining. Thank you for everything you've done for us. She oh she she does so much. She does so much behind the scenes for us, and we really really appreciate it. We're so gonna awesome. really miss you. Where do they follow you, Mac? Oh, you can find me on Instagram at the Sassy Northerner. I might be under construction soon. And you can find me on Twitter, Sassy Northerner. Yes. All right. That's yeah. it. See you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.